बड़ा ही रैंडम सिटी है यार इतना लेट बैक है बाथरूम भी आए बारह बजे खुलते हैं वेलकम टू द डे ट्रिप शो एज यू नो वी आर इन ट्रेन एंड वॉट हैपन्स इन दिस एपिसोड वी शो यू अ डिफरेंट लोकेशन ईच टाइम ऑन द डे ट्रिप दिस टाइम वी हैव वेरी डिफरेंट लोकेशन फॉर यू गाइज विच इज कॉल सैन मरीनो इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल कंट्री इन यूरोप Why we are going there has a specific reason to it. It is the least visited country in the entire Europe. We will be visiting the entire country in one single day. So come we just follow hope the show. We have enough to do. Yeah. So as Parampara says, we actually hope that we have a lot to do because we are carrying our picnic baskets. We will be sitting in a garden. We have nothing to do and drinking one some wine and milkshakes. So come follow the journey with us. So we are taking this day trip from Florence to San Marino. and the journey is in parts so we are taking a train from florence to bologna and we change the train in bologna and now we are going towards rimini from rimini you have a bus which goes up to the mountain to san marino and uh, the return journey costs about 10 euro by bus and uh, if you have the eurail pass then you don't need any reservation you need reservation actually don't need reservation You need reservations, but if you have Eurail Pass, it's very cheap for you to visit San Marino from Florence. So make sure you have the pass from the link below. Yay! We have reached Rimini after changing two trains from Florence, and the first thing that we did after coming here was that we headed straight to a tobacco shop where they sell tickets for buses to San Marino. Unfortunately, we had to skip the bus that was there. because for this 15 minute bus ride there is no place to sit and because today is a sunday we have to wait for the next 1 and a half hour to get the next bus to san marino unfortunately now that's also very little time to make a short trip to the rimini beach and get some great food so basically we're stuck and trying to kill time one eternity later pizza 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 <laughs> How did you kill one and a half hours? Well, uh, so first I think we went looking for some place to eat because we already had our breakfast on train, so we didn't really need coffee. And yeah, the town is so laid back that there was nothing open. And the places that were, which basically opened at eleven, weren't worth spending money. Uh, and and we also went to supermarket, which is like a staple pastime. क्या किया आपने सवा घंटे में ट्राई फाइंडिंग आउट बाथरूम विच आर ओपन बिफोर ट्वेल्व विच इज अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क है कंसिडरिंग एवरीबडी मेक्स ऑफ दैट लेट एंड ऑल्सो मेक्स ऑफ न्यू फ्रेंड्स ऑन द बस स्टॉप टू हैंडल आर लाइन वेल यूर अवे सो दैट वोट वेरी यूजफुल Nirali, what did you do? What did you eat? Hmm, well, I just got myself something to eat, and the only thing closest, cheapest, and open was Burger King. Um, I disgust myself. <laughs> <laughs>
What do you think about the places for people to eat here before they take the trek up? Uh, haven't really found a lot of exciting food options, but there's a lot of make-do food that you know you could just pick. Mostly whatever you eat in Italy, you can eat here like spaghetti, pizza, lasagna, and gelato, of course. Surprisingly, I haven't found many gelato shops over here.
help us take a different train because we already had reservations. So I am just thankful that we had a rail Europe pass because that made a lot of things really smooth. And yeah, we're still traveling back to Florence, so it's been one hell of a day for sure. This hangar you know, is really small and uh, even if it's so small, we did few things today. Uh, there are three towers where you can go uh, and see the view from the top. But if you don't want to pay, that's fine because you can just see the panoramic view from each and every part of that room. There are three towers. Third tower is not accessible even if you buy a ticket. There is one beautiful little cathedral that we went to. It's a basilica. It's a basilica, right? Yes, it's a basilica. It's a basilica. It's a basilica. Yeah. We went to that cute little basilica. It's really nice, really calm. And uh, there are few uh, buildings like government building, few museums as well that you can discover. And all the tickets can be directly bought from the tourist information center of San Marino. Don't forget to get your passport stamp because they actually put tourist visa on your passport and give an official stamp of San Marino. According to me, San Marino is a very beautiful place. It has very old European style charm to it and it has amazing views. All the pictures that I posted, I got a lot of comments for that. Everybody was asking me the same thing that when we started the show, we told that this is the least visited European country. Everybody was asking why, because it's so pretty, how can it be least visited? So there's a difference. When you go to a new place, you find things to do, things to explore and pass your day. This is not going to happen in San Marino. If you are coming here, you need to have enough time to chill. You don't need to have no plans. Just come here, sit, chill, see the view, enjoy the scenery, click pictures, have food, have your wine and enjoy. So for me, if you want to do that, then you should definitely visit it. Otherwise, if you have plans to spend your entire day doing something fantastically amazing, that's not San Marino for you. So for me, the voting would be yes. I would suggest, uh, I don't think you're missing out on much if you don't go to San Marino. Um, I would say you'd rather stay down at Rimini and have a fun, more interesting day. So I have a mixed view. Okay? You should visit San Marino because it's a separate country and there are a few things to see. Okay? They have good views but not that you have to like spend an entire day there. Okay? Yeah, I think I would uh, like to combine San Marino with uh, some time in Rimini. Uh, because my biggest, uh, or you know, what do you say that? Regret? My biggest uh, attraction. <laughs> All right, sorry. My biggest attraction to spend time in Rumini was that Rumini has some great seafood and plus a beach. And a beach, of course. Uh, it's on the coast of Italy. So I guess that is something that is a win-win situation. So if you can, I guess, combine say half a day, or, you know, because San Marino can be covered in half a day if you want. And the half a day in Rimini, especially the evening part in Rimini, I think would be great. Yeah, so basically and, come to yeah. Rimini in the morning, go to San Marino, come back by say 4 or 5 p.m. and then spend the rest of the evening in Rimini. And I think you'll by have a fantastic beach, day. By the beach, by the beach, by the beach. yes. So that's it from our day trip from San Marino. If you like this video and if you have better reasons to visit San Marino or if you're excited, share your thoughts, like this video, share and subscribe. Click, click. Click, click. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>